Okay, well, yeah, yeah. It's just been an amazing experience. I, to start, it was we were both very skeptical, me particularly. I've had this Caricatonis situation since I was, uh, well, almost 50 years, 55 years it was diagnosed, and I've lived with glasses and constant changes in prescriptions and uh, doctors who told me there wasn't anything you could do about it other than just continue to make a stronger and stronger prescription. And uh, we, when we moved to where we are now in Prescott, uh, we hooked up with a doctor called, who a name, uh, his name's Dr. Bundy, and he, through my wife, found out that I had uh, keratoconus. And he kind of specializes that with, in his patients, he has a lot of them, and he was the first one who told me about Dr. Bryan and all he could do for me, or the potential for what he could do for me, and we went back and forth with him about it for a couple of visits, and my wife and I discussed it at length for several... We actually debated uh, it. Debated because. it. Because, uh, I mean, when you've lived with a situation for as long as I have, and I'm 72, and uh, so uh, I, I was really skeptical at this point in my life whether I wanted to try to make a change or not, and not knowing for sure if it would work. Also, we, um, we've both been in business and, and have met a lot of people and we had never seen, you know, this doctor, Dr. Bryan, before. And at our age and our life experience, we've uh, seen the old adage, you know, if something sounds too good to be true, it usually is. We've seen that come true so many times that when we walked in here on Monday, we were major skeptical. You know, I mean, well, it was kind of like we had made the decision that if we didn't like what we heard, we were just going to say thank you, but no thank you. We're not only skeptical, but nervous as heck, as uh, the way I put it politely, but it, it, it's just been a miracle. I mean, uh, yeah, the laying day. on the table yesterday, I was a little nervous, and then uh, going home yesterday afternoon, not being able to see much or do much with all those strange goggles and eyeglasses on and then coming in here this morning and reading an eye chart better than I've ever been able to read it without glasses before has just been a miracle. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then it's just, I, I, we can't say enough about Dr. Bryant and oh. the staff here. The staff is just exceptional. Uh, and he is so kind and down to earth yeah. and uh, he has every reason in the world with all he's accomplished to have an ego, and he doesn't. He's a very, um, a very gentle, kind, considerate person, and I love the way he takes his time with the patient and the spouse and explains things. And there's not enough that can be said, really. You, you can tell he's doing what he loves to do, and, and that makes all the difference well, in the world. it's a calling, like he it, said. It comes across to the patients, to, to us at least it did and it made us feel welcome and, and uh, that he was genuinely concerned in making improvements in my life. And I, I can tell you already, uh, I am so excited about the perspective of the future. No matter how much longer I live, I know the next 10, 15, 20 years, if I'm lucky, will be so much better from a, from a visual standpoint than they were for the last 50, and it's just been a pleasure. Well, it changes your whole quality of life, and even for me, because Don has suffered so many frustrations with his sight, and so to be the thought of him to be able to see things and do things that perhaps he hasn't been able to do in a long time is just almost overwhelming. As a teenager, uh, the last visual sighting of the stars in the sky, I remember how amazed and impressed I was at the number and the vastness of the universe. Uh, and, and I've missed that. And one of the things I'm looking forward to is the night vision of the skies, uh, once again in my life, to see all of those stars uh, one more time. So thank you, Dr. Brian. Thank you, Dr. Brian's staff. And it's, it's just been our pleasure.